Welcome to California in Focus. I'm David Mastio. Today we're talking about the election and California voters finally getting a say on the state's crime problem. Joining me today is Kenneth Shrupp, California reporter for the Center Square. Kenneth, tell me about the results. Hey, David. We have a lot happening at the state level and the local level, but let's start with the state first. California voters passed Proposition 36 with the support of 70.4% of voters, which allows for prosecutors to pursue felony charges for serial thieves and major drug crimes. This was not possible after the passage of Proposition 47 in 2014, which made most of these crimes only chargeable as misdemeanors and thus rarely prosecuted. Prop 36 also creates this new crime class called Treatment Mandated Felony that lets individuals complete mental health or substance abuse treatment instead of going to prison. And this measure is more targeted at addressing the state's homelessness, as there are many individuals who refuse services and refuse treatment who continue to be a harm to themselves and a threat to others. Who backed Proposition 36? Proposition 36 was backed by retailers. It was backed by many prominent Democrats. One of them was San Francisco Mayor London Breed, who made this pivot towards being tough on crime at the end of, towards the end of her tenure. But as we'll talk about later, it doesn't seem like that was quite enough. Backers also included San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan and San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria. Gloria also appears to have narrowly fended off an independent challenger. Notably, this measure was opposed by Governor Gavin Newsom, who presented it as a return to mass incarceration. The Los Angeles District Attorney, who authored Proposition 47, also opposed the new law. Yes, that's true. L.A. District Attorney George Gascon, he authored Prop 47, he was up for re-election against former federal prosecutor Nathan Hockman, Before Gascon was district attorney of Los Angeles, he was district attorney of San Francisco, where uh, he moved from before giving the reins to his handpicked successor, who was ultimately recalled from office. Gascon now joins his successor in San Francisco, Chase Abudin, as no longer being an elected official. He was in a landslide defeat, removed and replaced by Los Angeles former prosecutor Nathan Hockman. L.A. shoplifting has increased significantly in the last few years, up 62% in 2023 alone, meaning voters were quite ready for a change. Hockman's campaign was notable for how much money it raised. Yes, it received record funding and hit the legal fundraising cap of $2.5 million. I didn't even know that fundraising caps existed. As of the time of uh, our publication of our story, Hockman had 62 Dot 62% of the vote, while Gascon had 39%. Elsewhere in California, tough on crime initiatives and, and elections were going on as well, right? Yeah, we saw the most action around the Bay Area, where we saw the San Francisco mayor get replaced. She lost her re-election bid. We saw the district attorney for Alameda County, which includes Oakland, be recalled. And we also saw the Oakland mayor be recalled. So voters across the San Francisco area have taken a significant stand against crime. Crime was so bad in Oakland that the NAACP got involved and the governor called out the National Guard. Yes, David. So in 2023, the Oakland chapter of the NAACP asked that the city end its defunding of the police and that the district attorney for Alameda County start prosecuting criminals. This generated a lot of buzz. People thought it was inconsistent with what other chapters were advancing. And you know what? These organizers worked really hard for a year and a half and got what they wanted. The recall organizer, or at least one of them, Seneca Scott, he wrote in Compact Magazine saying, When Oakland's black community initiated the mayoral recall in January, driven by rising crime, The city led the nation in stolen vehicles in 2023, and governmental dysfunction, progressives scoffed. They laughed at our notice of intent and mocked our early organizing efforts. But their laughter quieted when we submitted more than 40,000 signatures six weeks ahead of schedule. Alameda County violent crime was up nearly double in 2023 over 2022, Three quarters of the crime in Alameda County occurred in Oakland, where violent crime went up 2.4 times between 2022 and 2023. 
there's been a lot of funny business that in Oakland and Alameda County, and Newsom himself has even highlighted that. He released public details about how Alameda County DA Price delayed the deployment of California National Guard and California Department of Justice prosecutors to assist with combating crime. He also even told Oakland to end its policy of not letting police chase criminals. Kenneth, thanks for joining us today. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. 